Okay, this is a very quick video about the Harbor Freight portable generator. It's a little uh, 800 watt unit, 900 watt starting. And if you can hear me, that tells you it's actually really quiet. Now, I like this generator, but it didn't come without a few flaws that you may have to remedy. One is that the outlet came loose. So if you look at mine, you can see that I put screws in there to hold it in place. Not a big deal. Also, the circuit breaker that comes on it is wimpy. It doesn't give you the full rated power output. You just buy the right size breaker, but you get a replacement one from someplace like, um, I got it from DigiKey. Um, ask an electrician friend. Um, if I can find the part number, I'll actually put it on this video. This generator has run really well for over five years, and I gotta tell you, it has gotten, during the summer, for the last couple summers, I was probably running it for two hours a week. Um, it gets a lot of use, and I lend it to neighbors who use power tools on it. You can use one tool at a time. With all portable generators, they have a weakness, and that is after a while, the engine runs great and no voltage comes out. It doesn't work. It's not broken. There is a capacitor, a voltage regulating capacitor, behind the front panel. Take the front panel off, take the numbers off the part, look them up on eBay, You'll see exactly the same part on eBay. I think one manufacturer makes all the caps for everybody. Change it and you just breathe life into your generator. I've done this to three generators for friends. Bingo! Generator works like new again. Engines, because people maintain them. I maintain it. So what I'm saying is I'm, I'm going to say this generator is a really good value. I'm using it to run a small garden pump right now to get water out of this ditch because it was cheaper and faster than buying a dedicated pump that I'm only going to use once. Eh. It just keeps on plugging. I just use it for all sorts of stuff. These are good generators and uh, keep an eye on it. Every now and then you can get it scored for under 100 bucks. So again, check the strength of the outlet. If it's popping the breaker all the time, hook up some light bulbs and stuff to the rated power. If it's still popping the light bulb, change the breaker. That's, they're kind of crappy. Don't complain to them. It won't do any good. Just get yourself a new, uh, new uh, battery. Not a new battery. New breaker. And after about four or five years, when the voltage starts to go wacko on you, just replace the capacitor. It will cost you less than $10. And you'll get years of service out of it.